I think it's one of those games a lot of people labelled a must win and you know uh, for a while it looked like it was on the cards there but to be fair to carry they come back and they fought hard there at the end and probably maybe deserved a point do you think? Yeah look here it was, it was always going to be a tough game the games against Kerry the last two seasons have been tough games you know they have well improved from last year there's absolutely no question about that I, you know I, I don't get where people think you know you just come down and pick up three points it doesn't happen in this division you, you can quite clearly see that a game or some of the results this evening. Both UCD and Athlone have both lost again this evening. So, it, it, you know, it happens in this league. It's, it's that type of league. Look, we are where we are right now. It, it's out of our hands in the fact that we don't have a game next weekend because Waxford have done so well in the Cup. So we could go into next, or the Friday the 11th of October uh, seven points behind Bray. And then it makes going to Bray on the 11th a must win then it becomes a must win. Look, but we're still we're still there with three games to go, which is a remarkable achievement considering some of the obstacles and hurdles that this group has had to face this year. So I'm certainly not going to stand here and be too critical of them. Uh, some people might want me to be, but I'm not, because I'm proud of each and every one of them, that we're still in and around the playoffs. And if people want to be critical, there'll like, always be somebody they'll want to be critical with, you know, but I'm certainly not, you know, We've done something this week in the football club where once we finish at Bray on the 11th of October, we'll have travelled over 11,000 kilometres with no overnight stays. It's a lot of travelling for a team. So uh, when you look at the, the bottom end of the table, some teams have only travelled 3,500 kilometres. we done that in six weeks. When we travelled away, five games out of six, we travelled away from home. we done that in six weeks. So it's tough. They're a young group. And they've kept fighting all year, and unfortunately they've, they've given away a poor goal when they did do well to get themselves in front. We did have a few more half chances, but look over the piece. A draw for me was a fair result. Again, we, we, we have worked extremely hard, and the players have worked extremely hard. They've picked up 11 points from 15 to keep their playoff chances alive. So here, it's been doom and gloom for most of the year by a lot of people. I'm certainly not going to stand here and make it doom and gloom. There's still a chance, we're still fighting, and that bunch of players have fought every game, like I said, bar maybe one. Again, it was a, a battle out there tonight, and they stood up to it. And that's all I ever wanted them to be from day one, was competitive in every game. And outside one, they've been that, so I'm not going to stand here then and be critical of them, because I don't feel they deserve that. I feel they've worked extremely hard as a group. They've stuck together, even when people turned on them a wee bit. Uh, not our own supporters, by the way. They have been magnificent and continue to be. It's all the people on the outside. It's the outside noise and the outside obstacles that have been put in their way that are, are, that are definitely affecting us. But here, look, it's been that, like that all year. Us as a football club have done a great deal to help a lot of people in this league. A great deal. And when our turn came around to get a wee bit of help, we didn't get it from certain people. Them people know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to name names because it gets me maybe in a bit of trouble. But them people know who I'm talking about. And I've certainly helped a lot of people out this year. And I've learnt a very, very valuable lesson. And I'm quite comfortable to set in camera moving forward. I ain't helping anybody anymore. And that's irrelevant. Whether I'm at this football club or not, I'll be telling the football club the same thing. The good thing for me is that a lot of the press or a lot of the board and committee members also seen all them decisions as well. So you, you yourself, Nigel, have been part of it. You've seen it. Uh, so look, every season you, you learn something. We have learned a great deal as a football club this year. I've learned a great deal as an individual. As I say, we've still three games to go. We'll give our all in the final three games and we'll see where it takes us. Yeah. Look, you, you kind of touched on it yourself there, the 11 points of 15 games. There was that spell there, what was it, six, six, five, six losses in a row. To the credit, the boys have really turned it around, you know, and that's that's another 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 tick and an undefeated record there. Now, you know, yeah, you're, know, you're five on the right way. You know. <laughs> you're five unbeaten in a really tough league. Yeah. So look here, as I say, I'm certainly not going to be critical of them. They're a great bunch to work with. I've really enjoyed my time with them, and as I say, we started this together and um, we'll stick in it together right to the final game, right to the final game of the season. As I say, we have three to go. Not too sure of the date when the Wexford game will be. Uh, as a manager, we offered five dates. We offered three dates in September and two dates in October. 
but unfortunately it didn't suit people. So here, it is what it is. We, you learn, you live and you learn. Because there's certain fixtures this year we weren't offered any any dates. We were told we had to play on a certain date at a certain time. So maybe, like I have said, and I, I don't want the people of Donegal or the people of Finn Harps to maybe get that reputation. It's a beautiful part of the world and they're, and they're really good people. Really nice people to be around, but maybe some people further away from Donegal have maybe used that to their advantage. So we have to be a wee bit more streetwise and we will be. Yeah, we talked about further away from Donegal. We couldn't really have got further away from Donegal two weeks in a row now. And when you would have looked forward to a home game the following week, now we have to face into another away trip after that again. So it's We could now go 14 days without playing. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> we could go 14 days without playing, but then we'll be asked to play Friday, Monday, Friday in the run-up to the league. Yeah. Mad. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. mad. Uh, and there's nothing there never seems to be anything can be done as I say as a football club we offered five dates to play the fixture five and uh, none of them five dates were uh, suitable but then all of a sudden we're told you're playing on this date I haven't been told that date yet but I've been given a fair idea of when the date will be yeah. but and, but I, I have no I can't no argument in my part you're playing at end of even though we, we did our best to accommodate a lot of people. So, we learned. Yeah. Well, look, it's, it's another week now. We've announced a couple more academy contracts. Another young man got on the score sheet again today. Dexie Ferry's in great form lately. You know, a, a, a testament to the, to the youth in the squad there. No, yeah, here. Again, they've been very young and they learn from it. They're a great group, as I say, Nigel. Uh, I've really enjoyed my time working with them. I really have. Uh, they're an honest bunch. And that's all you want as a manager. You want an honest bunch of boys who give you an honest shift. I have an honest bunch of boys who give me an honest shift. Sometimes it, it goes for them, sometimes it goes against them. But as I said, and again, I'll finish on this, when I took the job, all I wanted them to be was competitive in every single game and see where it took them. We have won more games. We're higher up the league than we were in the previous few seasons. We've been more competitive in the games. So have the tick boxes that I wanted them to tick? Yes. Have they made mistakes and lost games maybe that they should have won or drew? Yes. But they're, they're learning as a group, and I'm extremely proud of them, each and every one of them. And as I say, we dust ourselves down. We have 14 days now, I think, before we play our next fixture. And let's see where we are after the last three games of the season.